Tonight, brand new information about the man accused in a deadly stabbing in Plattsburgh town last month. And we have learned this is not the first time Larry Hicks has been accused of killing a woman. Thanks for joining us this Thursday night. I'm Lauren Maloney. It has been three weeks since Monique Yanulovich was found stabbed to death in the town of Plattsburgh and two weeks since anyone's reportedly seen the prime suspect, Larry M. Hicks Jr. Now there is new information about Hicks criminal past. Local 22's Michael Miller reports now from Plattsburgh. New York State Police announced last week it was in search of Larry M. Hicks Jr. After that announcement, I was contacted about a case in South Carolina. A man named Larry Hicks was charged with and convicted of strangling his sister-in-law more than 20 years ago. Now, state police confirm those two men are one and the same. The last time anyone reported seeing Larry Hicks was last month, July 21st, when he was spotted getting on a bus to Corpus Christi, Texas, bound for Brownsville on the southern U.S. border. Hicks is wanted for second-degree murder in the stabbing death of Monique Yanulovich. It's not the first time he's been charged with murder. He was arrested in 2005 for strangling Michelle Jacobs Suggs back in 2001. Hicks was convicted of involuntary manslaughter after a key witness rescinded their testimony and was sentenced to five years in prison. The crime happened in Darlington County, South Carolina. People there still remember how it impacted Suggs' family. It's just destroyed him. I mean, to see a real man sobbing like that, no one, you know, what had happened. Another person from the area spoke about the murder charges from 20 years ago and believes Hicks is still dangerous. There was a very evil feeling around this man. You can feel it. It just shook my spirit, is the best I can say. He scares me. New York State Police say Hicks is from North Carolina. New York State Police say he went there and to South Carolina after Yanulovich's murder. Family members of Suggs confirmed that, telling me they saw Hicks in his hometown of Hartsville, South Carolina, for an unrelated funeral. They say he was clean-shaven with a haircut. Meantime, in Plattsburgh, Town Supervisor Michael Cashman thanks the officers for their hard work involving the investigation and wants people to take any preventative measure they can. Evil always looms, but it's how we as a community can look out for one another. Uh, and it, it seems like a simple statement, but the actions are powerful. If you see something, say something. There are no further updates on Hicks's whereabouts. I reached out to Brownsville Police Department where they say they were aware of the crime committed by Hicks in South Carolina. They say they have released his image to the public in case anyone comes in contact with him. Reporting in Plattsburgh, Michael Miller, Local 22 News.